Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Um, seems to be a lot of questions about how to tie tubes, how to put tubes on, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, so I thought I'd do this video. Okay, we'll start with the looped tube shooter. As you can tell, this is a performance catapult by Jim. Okay, there's especially a lot of questions about through the fork. Okay, first of all, let's just say here's a normal loop tube set. You basically cut it to the length you want, right? Stick it through and then tie it like you tie flat bands here. Okay, nothing special, nothing unique. You want to pop it on the shooter, you just take the loop right near the slot, pull. You can also stretch it out and drop it in, okay? Shake them a little and they line up really well for on the top. You know, I've also slid them in the side groove. You can see they're in the side groove now and through the tube. And then you can kind of shoot it through the fork, you see? Okay. Um, generally, we put them to the outside, but you can also, if it suits your fancy, do them to the inside. The only thing with doing them to the inside is it can sometimes crowd up the path a little bit. And if you get a fork hit, which happens at times, it could damage your tube, tube set too. But considering the damage it's done to your slingshot, who knows, who cares, okay? So... That's how I've done this. Now, let's take this set off because I want to have this set for something else, okay? For those who haven't seen the video, I'll try to remember to put it in the link. But you can also take loop tubes or single tubes, whatever you want. You run them single tubes through and tie them. Uh, double tubes is easy. Just loop it through and pull it tight. You don't even need to tie them, okay? It's just a slider through it. I've got a whole video on how I did that. Um, okay. Typical Scout LT. Okay. Here's the clip side. Set it up for through to fork. Most of you guys already know. I mean, you literally bring your tubes down if you want. Okay. Until you've got them even. These are not quite even because I haven't used them yet. But if you cut them even, you can stick, or if you want, you can just stick them in there. It doesn't take long. And clamp that bad boy down, okay? You literally just tighten them in like you do flat bands. There's nothing to it, but there seems to be some confusion about it. I didn't put it in tight enough. You can always slide it back in if you haven't tightened it enough. There you go. Okay. Make sure everything's even. Okay. And that you don't have any slack. And then literally just take your Allen key, tighten it down, clamp it down. Good to go through the fork. Okay. Take it loose. Okay. Pull it out. You got a loop tube set, okay? Not very hard. Just hook it over the hook, okay? You know, shake it around until it gets even. Keep it under a little bit of pressure when you press this down with your finger and then crank this bad boy tight, okay? Use it with, this is not the ideal, okay? Crank this up tight, ready for through the fork, okay? Space the tubes out however you want them. You can bring them together and run them down the tube, but because it's a flat surface, it doesn't really matter, okay? So that's all that kind of method, okay? <clears throat> Let's go over to this side. You wrap and tuck, okay? Pinch it. I usually wrap it twice, okay? Especially if you don't have a groove. And then literally, 
decide, you know, come from the pouch. Just slide down here till you got about the right length. Okay? Lay it down right on top. Nothing fancy, just like you lay flat bands. And then wrap and tuck. Okay? It's really not much to it, guys. And then once you get, you know, four or five times on it, I sometimes fold it. I always have a habit of folding everything over again. Okay? And then continue to tie. The reason I do this is I found when I do it, it doesn't slip. This also, if you have a Bill Hayes shooter, you know how he has that wrap and tuck stuff he gives you? Well, you slide it in the hole. Well, now you got the, you see, you got the loop on the tubes to slide his thing in. You keep going and, you know, standard wrap and tuck. I'm not going to finish it off. You guys know how to do wrap and tuck. Look, ready for through the fork here. I'll just pull it. Ready for through the fork. Okay. On a flat surface. Okay. Let it go. It all comes loose. Honestly, guys, a looped set of tubes is no different. Just come down, lay it on like I did the last one, and tie it. There's nothing to it. Um, if you want to cut the groove in here and pop this in and then shoot around the edge like I showed you on the other one, you can. Uh, I can't remember, but Simple Shot, I believe, may have directions on how to cut this, but I've seen them modified where they put a slot in. Um, the other option which is sometimes really easy with tubes. It's called the snare method, okay? Say you have a hole like this, okay? You don't want to cut it. Take a loop of tie material, okay? Stick it through from the back of the hole, okay? Pull it out, okay? You see it? See the loop, okay? I've done this snare method before. This is nothing new. Slide the tubes through. Okay? You see how I've done that? The tubes are through. Pull the other side tight. Okay? And just like that, your tubes are now tucked. Pull it down and start tying. Okay? With a double band so it ties tighter. Okay? They're not going anywhere. Okay, that's the snare method. I believe Toddy was one of the ones who developed that or used that profusely on his slingshot. Okay, put that aside. You now have an Ocularis plug one. Okay, you can do this like any other flat band. You can push it through from the front. Okay. Fold it over so it's out of the way. Since you're interested in through the fork, put it on the through the fork side. Now, the secret I've always done, you see there's a spot there, a bump there, don't use that. Put the flat surface against it, just like you would flat bands, okay? You see that? See how I did that? Pull to make sure it's tight. Okay, some some of these um, are slicker. You got to be careful. You got if a tube is slick, that's fine. It may pull out a little bit. If that's the case, put in a bigger piece of ammo in your Ocularis plug to make it tighter. Or I've also taken an Ocularis plug and hit it lightly with 80 grit sandpaper to roughen it up so it grabs better. Okay, you see it's pulling through the fork. And some of you will notice there's a notch there. That was an idea that Metrograde came up with. When you pull it, you notice the tubes go in that slot. Okay, set up for through the fork. Okay, let me get these out of the way so you can see what's going on. Okay, shoot it through the fork. Okay. Now there's several other methods which you can look in the... Look in the manual for, take a set of loop tubes, do exactly what I did as well too, okay? Or, you can take your loop tubes, put them through, 
okay? Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, okay? You put the ocularis plug in, okay? You see, put the ocularis plug in, but make sure that the loop tubes, the tube gets looped around the ocularis plug, okay? And it goes down, and you push it in, and if you look closely, you'll notice that the tubes are going in the two slots. Wrap it around the edge and pull through the fork. Okay? Now the one problem with this system is you got to get the top if it's a you got to get the top one in the slot. If you do, you can see it the hardest part about getting this is if you get it in one of the slots, you get a consistent level on your tubes. If you don't, while you're pulling it, it could be anywhere and it could slip while you're pulling it, okay? So this one's a little trickier, doesn't quite work the same. I've also seen, I've seen people use it. I know some people do this. Um, you have to be careful that if your bands get, if your tubes get too strong, this one can be dangerous, okay? you put it through the other direction, okay? And you pull against it, okay? And then when you pull, you can see it's an automatic through the fork because of where the band, the tubes end up, okay? And you're pulling against the ocularis plug. When you do do this, that's fine. And make sure you've got a huge piece of ammo. And if you do super, super strong bands, understand, there are chances this could pull through the hole. Uh, you just got to make sure you have the right setup and you're doing it safely. And you're not, you know, it, everything with slingshots. You can do a lot of stuff. It, you just, just understand what's going to, what could be, what could happen, what could be dangerous with it. Okay? And just, just make sure you're not going to hurt yourself. Um, on manufactured ones like this this is almost no problem at all but when you custom make them or these holes wear a little bit or the plugs are a little old just you know stand to one side pull pull really hard and make sure nothing's happening nothing's moving nothing's doing anything if you start to see it pull through or something Immediately stop and understand that you either have to change something here or you can't use that method on that slingshot anymore. Okay? It's all about safety, folks, and thinking ahead before you do something. Just like you don't put bad ammo. Sorry. You don't put bad ammo in a gun. You don't use a gun that's uh, got a shot stuck halfway down in it. It's the same thing with slingshots. Look, understand what could be dangerous. Check it before you put your face in front of it, okay? Like this. If anything goes wrong, it, at worst case, I'm going to have a bruise on my hand, you know? But I'm not going to have eye problems or anything like that, okay? Just take your time. Uh, I hope this all makes sense, and I hope this answers some of the questions that people have been having with through the fork and tubes. Um... I, I just assumed this was common knowledge and known, but apparently it seems to not be. So hopefully this video helps. If not, you've wasted 14 minutes. Sorry. Take care, guys.